Okay, I could have bought an adapter kit, but I would have had to box up my transmission, send it off, pay them over $800, wait several weeks for it to come back, and frankly, I'm just not that patient, and I'm a little cheap. So I decided to make the adapter myself. I bought the aluminum plate for the adapter to go over the bell housing, and an extra piece of aluminum plate that will bolt to the motor as a spacer. I got both of those online delivered to me for $90. Now you can see that I've already made a wooden template. I made this out of half inch particle board. It's the exact same uh, thickness as the aluminum plate and it was the easiest thing to make pretty precise uh, holes and measurements on. I know this fits very well. I've already made a couple of changes to the uh, aluminum plate. You can see that I've cut these two um, dowel holes. That's where the dowel pins are on the bell housing and it fits very snugly on there. This hole is just so that when I put that spacer plate for the motor, it'll go on there and the bolt, the bolt heads will have room so that they won't budge. Now, like I said, I already know that this template is just the right size. All the holes are where they need to be. So right now, it's really just a matter of putting these in the right place and bolting these holes down. Now, these holes are not quite as important as the dowel pin holes. Um, you know, they need to be the right size, but they don't have to be within 0.001 of an inch or anything. So these are not nearly as important. I can pretty much just whip these out, make sure it's right over the spot where it needs to be, and just go right on down. show you how to do one. For the rest of them, I'll line it up a little more carefully and I'll bolt it down to the platform to make sure it doesn't move. But uh, that's still right on where it should be. Uh, now that these are mated, um, all I have left to do at that point is to cut off some of the excess here. I might just take it to somebody with a, uh, with a good bandsaw or a plasma cutter because they could probably whip that out in 10 minutes. Well, it took me, oh, about an hour to cut this out with a handheld jigsaw. Then, I'll have to mate them up and make sure they're centered properly, but we'll come back to you and hopefully get you, uh, get you in on that part as well. Okay, since I haven't done this before, I am just going to hook up the motor to an electric battery for a quick second or two and just watch it spin. Uh, it's just kind of a fun thing everybody does to, to get started. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. Now, check the duct wiring diagram one more time just to make sure. Put on the positive and put on the negative. Oh, there she goes. The coupler spins very well, very true. And it's not making any scraping noises on the top of the coupler. Next move, put it on here, we'll see how it goes. Fine. Go ahead and hook it up. I'm getting a little vibration, and that doesn't make me happy. right there, then I don't get any vibration. It's very quiet. So all I have to do now is etch the outside of it, and then that's where put that in place, and then I'll bolt these holes into it, put this spacer onto the adapter, and it should be very true. 